What's up, peers, and welcome to Bitcoin to the Max. Continuing the discussion on the emergence of Bitcoin as a money and how this plays out in the entire economy. Uh, starting off with digital scarcity, moving through the digital collectible, and the speculation that more people will want to buy and huddle it. Uh, and finally, right here, a withstanding social and technical attacks, accumulating battle scars. Nice wording by Murat. And the interesting point that he brings here is that quite truly, Bitcoin is under attack a lot, 24 seven. Bitcoin is a highly adversarial network. Why is that so? Well, the production of money is a important and powerful task. And people in control of the production of the money do not want to give it up. And we have seen repeatedly in the history of private currencies being issued that uh, a central force, a central authority uh, is violating uh, the, the free market principles of peaceful interaction uh, by forcing people not to use certain currencies or forcing them and threatening them to use certain currencies. Uh, and of course, most often heavily in favor of the aggressive party. Uh, then Bitcoin itself uh, is proven uh, to withstand uh, some, maybe most of these attacks. Uh, and that is unique for a digital currency so far, as there have been many private digital currencies that have been crushed uh, by applying pressure to the central point of failure. Um, however, there is no central point in Bitcoin. And that is what makes it so anti-fragile and therefore secure in consensus and hardened against the tax. Andreas Antonopoulos likes to call this the sewer rat. Uh, Bitcoin is dredging through the sewers of a uh, canal and uh, well, diving in shit, so to speak, uh, all around the bacteria and the feces and uh, the, the dangerous diseases. And the cool thing is that Bitcoin gets used to it quite soon. And this anti-fragility, this rat aspect of Bitcoin is that uh, it's hard to get it down. Uh, because Bitcoin has been thrown against so many troubles and attacks, and most of these things have been tried and tested and now secured against. Uh, so every time that there is an attack on Bitcoin, we fix it and we close the loophole. And when we continue doing that vigorously, then eventually we will reach a point of, uh, of true anti-fragility where Bitcoin is robust against a lot of things already and anti-fragile and uh, adaptable to future attacks and unseen and unforeseen attacks uh, on the Bitcoin network. So this both def self-defensive Bitcoin on a technical side with software bugs, uh, but also on a social side with social attacks uh, and divide and conquer strategies. Um, so some might argue that uh, it falls part under the uh, Bcash uh, hard fork uh, dilemma. Uh, which is dividing the social consensus community of Bitcoin. And of course, all points before that, uh, and maybe side chains after. So this, this splintering of communities is uh, a part of a attack. And that is something that Bitcoin is defending against uh, every block at a time. Uh, and of course, there are these accumulated battle scars, this immune system that is built up not only prove the cojones of Bitcoin, but also make sure that, uh, that we are reminded of the importance of defending these values and defending this ecosystem by running a Bitcoin full node. Uh, how do we know that? We have gotten these scars during the battle of the user activated software, where eventually the users won and we got sacred. And this was enforced only by the power of individual users running a Bitcoin full node. And these battle of scars have to be uh, kept in memory and they have to be uh, continuously be reminded of uh, because this uh, is a uh, case in history where we can prove the anti-fragility of Bitcoin and where we can build upon uh, this ecosystem and continue to make it stronger. Thanks for joining me here today on Bitcoin to the max here on the World Crypto Network, talking about the important aspect of self-defense 
of Bitcoin and the SUARAP immutable uh, immune system of Bitcoin. Uh, thank you very much for joining. This show is brought to you by you, my peers of the World Crypto Network, the patrons over at patreon.com slash WCN and the gracious Bitcoin donators at teleco.im slash Hillebrand Max or slash Hillebrand Mad Bitcoins. Thank you so much for your support. You keep us going. You give us uh, these new equipments like a webcam, a microphone, a laptop for furthering our production quality and for continuing uh, to providing you these videos. Thank you very much for joining and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.